Hey, this is Bob from PyBytes. Welcome back to another video on our YouTube channel. And today I'm going to show you how to put a package onto PyPI using a cool tool called Flit. And we're basically going to upload the package I launched the other day um, that automates creating beautiful code snippets, which was the last video on this channel. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's dive straight in. Today is a follow-up video from last video where I introduced you to Carbon Selenium and I actually renamed the project to PyBytes Carbon and I actually hosted on our open source link, which if you have not visited it yet, it's PyBytes open source and we have a bunch of cool projects here you might want to check out. So I put it here and I managed to get it on PyPI and I used a tool called Flit for that and in the past we have shown poetry as an all-in packaging solution. I still love it, but lately I've been using virtual environments by themselves and Flit is a nice tool to just take care of uploading things to PyPI. So first of all, I installed it with pipx and pipx is a nice tool to install certain dependencies in your global environment. So I have black flake and flit in my global uh, environment because those tools I want to almost use in all projects. Um, so that was step one. The next step was to add a version to my package file. So 0 0.1, which flit picks up. Then I used flit in it to make a pyproject.toml, which is the new standard. And initially this looked like this. So this came almost out of the box and with the flit in it, interactive mode, it asked me for all the things. So, um, so I named it Carbon, uh, author myself, uh, the readme, the license, and if you specify version in dynamic, it picks it up from that init file. And I specified home to the old project link that's now moved to PyBytes open source. Then I made some extra adjustments. Um, so I renamed it actually to PyBytes Carbon because Carbon probably will clash. But as the module is Carbon, when you name it something different, you then need to use flit.module with the name of the actual package. So this is the physical package, the directory on my file system, and this is how I wanna name it and how it's going to show up on PyPI. I also added minimum Python version, the dependencies, the optional dependencies, so developer dependencies, still have to write a test by the way, uh, typing and linting. Although I mostly use black these days, so I have auto formatting going on. And then I changed this to the source code and this to the documentation, which is basically a walkthrough video, the previous video here on this channel. And interestingly, I made an entry point, which points to the package, the module, and the function. So if I go to carbon main module, I have this main function, which kind of runs all the code. So it does the arg parse thing, parses the code from the arguments, and it creates the code image. Uh, we saw that in the last video, I will link it below. But now it's, um, so part actually of this exercise was to refactor or restructure the code. So in the first iteration, it was just a script.py. And that shows that that's fine. That's how usually how we get started with one file. And our upcoming podcast talks all about this. And uh, the final version, well, it's never final, uh, has three modules. So the Carmen code is, is the business logic, so to say. The CLI.py is all the arc parse stuff. And the main glues it all together. So I have a nicer structure of my package now. I think that's it for the setup. So let's move on. 
After that, I did flit publish. And I do have to say that that works out of the box because I have a PyPy RC file. And to actually show that without the tokens, uh, this is the format. So it has the disk utils, the live PyPI server, and the test PyPI server. And both uh, have username token and the password is the token you generate on your PyPy accounts, the real one and the test one respectively. And then lastly, you can use publish. So you can give it dash dash repository to first um, push it to test, but I have some sort of an issue now with the connection, although I have a valid token, so I need to debug that further. But the publish without repository goes to PyPy by default. And that, um, so that creates the distribution, which is saved in the dist folder, which you want to get ignore. And uh, this was the old one, then I renamed it. So this was the latest one. And very similarly to poetry, when you do that publish command, it takes the last uh, distribution in this folder. And that resulted in the package being available on PyPI. So to test this out, oh, by the way, I forgot one step. Um, I did a flit install locally first to verify that it uh, was working correctly. And actually there I spotted a syntax error in my script command. So I fixed that and this means that the package would work. So to validate that, make a temp folder, make a virtual environment. This is my alias, by the way. And then I should be able to pip install it. And that alias should spring into life. And then of course I need to set the Chrome driver. So let's quickly copy that over. So we have the Chrome driver path. And now the alias works and I can give it a snippet. Hello world. That's not valid syntax, but just to get the idea. And that should have created the hello world image. Another example. the actual function that creates the image, copying that to my clipboard. Then I can use it with the minus C of clipboard. It reaches out, Selenium runs in headless mode at this moment and stores it in carbon.png. And that was because I'm recording on 1280. <laughs> times 720, but here we have a beautiful image uh, with the code I just had on my clipboard. So really cool. Uh, hope this is useful to show how you can use Flit. Again, the documentation explains it pretty well. Uh, the only thing you might want to study up on is the PyProject Tomol standard, because I did add um, a few extra fields. But anyway, you can see the project on our open source pybytes carbon and here you can look at the toml how i defined those fields and uh, yeah it's really cool so now you can pip install it pip install pybytes carbon and i hope you uh, you're pretty stoked about this whole packaging concept because it really makes it easier to get your code out to a wider audience so to use it so if you use it for your beautiful code snippets let me know and uh, see you in the next video Hey, this is Bob again. I hope you enjoyed that video that uh, you're eager to upload your own software to PyPI. It really makes it easier to get your software in the hands of others and so that they can use it. If you have any questions, uh, hit me up. If you want future topics, ideas, um, you want us to produce content on, comment below. And uh, of course, don't forget to subscribe below. It helps the channel and you won't miss any of our future content related to Python developer and mindset stuff. See you in the next video.